here with what we can expect from today's testimony from Powell is Yahoo Finance's Jennifer Schomburger. Jennifer, uh, take it away. Good morning to you and his. That's right, Fed Chair Powell back on Capitol Hill this morning for his second day of semi-annual testimony to Congress, this time before the House Financial Services Committee. This will be the first time that Powell is testifying before this House committee since Republicans have taken over the House since the midterm elections. Powell will reiterate in nearly identical remarks he told the Senate Banking Committee Tuesday that inflation is running higher than expected and that interest rates will likely need to be raised higher than previously thought. Powell opened the door to raising rates by a larger half a percentage point later this month after slowing down to a quarter point last meeting as the latest inflation and jobs data have come in stronger than expected. Powell also laying the groundwork to offer the optionality to move faster, given that we're going to get fresh jo a fresh jobs report on Friday, followed by the Consumer Price Index next week. And should those clock in strong, that could open the door for a faster pace. Powell said in testimony, if the data were to indicate that a faster tightening is warranted, we would be prepared to increase the pace of rate hikes. Take a listen. The data we've seen so far, and we still have other data to see, we yeah. still have significant data to see before the meeting, suggests that, that the, the ultimate rate that we write down will, may well be higher than what we wrote down in December. In December, Fed officials anticipated raising the benchmark policy rate this year to between five and five and a half percent and hold it there into next year, though Powell, of course, now suggesting it will need to be raised higher than that. And policymakers will pencil in just how much higher at their meeting on March 21st and 22nd. Today is Powell's final opportunity to shape the conversation, his last remarks ahead of the Fed's usual 10 day blackout period before their policy meeting. This hearing getting underway just right now. I will have the headlines for you as I get them. Back to you. Indeed you will, Jen. And just a quick mention on International Women's Day. Happy International Women's Day, by the way. As far as I know, you're the only Thank woman. Thank you. Happy International Women's Day Thank to you. Thank you. You're the only woman in broadcast, as far as I know, covering the Fed down there in D.C. for us. So thank you very much uh, for the work that you do.